Okay, let's fix one thing in the CSS and then we'll add JavaScript to center the hand vertically. So the thing I want to fix is that these cards are taking up 95% of these div boxes, but they're not centered. So I'm going to go ahead and add text align center here. And now if I reload, yeah, they shifted over just a little bit, so there's the same amount of space here as here. So that looks good. So now let's do some JavaScript. And once again, if you don't know JavaScript in this course, don't worry about it, because you can just sort of follow along here. But what I'm going to do is go to my index.php, and I want to run a piece of JavaScript when this page is finished loading. So I'm going to add to my body tag onload equal javascript colon init and that's it. So this is going to call an init function that I'm going to define in poker.js.php and here's my function. So I'm going to start by adding an event listener to my window for resize events. And when the window gets resized, it's going to call a function called center content. And then I'm also going to call center content the first time the page loads. So this is going to get called the first time the page loads, and then every time I resize the window, this is going to get called again. So let's define center content. And this is going to be a little complicated. But basically what I need to know is the height of the content div and the height of the window. So let's start there. So var content is document.getElementById content. I put id equal content there. And then let's get window height is equal to window.inner height. And then content height is equal to parse int of document dot get computed height of content dot height and this is going to return like 500 px or something like that and so parse int will we'll get the number part of that and so what I want to do is take the full amount, subtract off that amount, and then divide that by 2. And that number is going to be the amount that I want to push the content down. So let's calculate offset equal to window height minus content height over 2. And then the way I'm going to push this down is I'm going to go back to my index.php and I'm going to add another div box right here, right above where the hand is, with an id equals spacer. And then I'm going to set the height of this div tag to push the thing down. So let's go back to my JavaScript. Get the spacer. And then let's set the spacer height equal to spacer plus pixels. And if that is right, then it should actually work. Let's go ahead and take a look and see. So, no, not quite. Let's see if I got an error. 
It's not get computed height. It's get computed something though. Um, get computed style. Let's try that. Nope. Oh, I think it's on the window. Window dot get computed style. Let's try that. Oh, that seems to have worked. Let's go ahead and close it. So let's go ahead and run the debugger. And I'm going to debug my JavaScript now. So let's go sources. And I'm going to select poker.js.php. And put a breakpoint right here and then reload. So step, 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 step. So let's see what we have. Oh, this should be offset right here. I already see what that is. Okay. Yeah, so offset. And also window height. Yeah, that looks right. So I just need to change that to offset. So let's go ahead and do that. Boom. So that's exciting. Seems to work. <laughs>